What up, dudes? So I got something totally different planned for us this afternoon. So one of my jobs is I'm in charge of a 34-foot Boston Whaler Conquest. You've never seen me in this boat before. It's got AC. It's like a luxury fishing boat. We're going to take this boat out this afternoon. We're going to see what we can catch. We're taking a crew out right now. So this is our marina right here. It's Palafox Pier. Check out all these boats. That's her right there. Triple 300s. Legal limits. First time I've fished in AC in forever. So that's Captain Lance. He is in charge of the whaler. You actually saw him when I first started making videos when we were doing stupid stuff like catching snappers with bananas. <laughs> that was long two, time ago. That was two years ago to the <laughs> date. It, it popped up in my uh, feed today. Yep. So if you get tired and just want to relax, check it out. There's two beds. We'll probably sleep four or five people in here. We got us a bathroom, a refrigerator, a microwave stove, flat screen TV, and it's nice and air conditioned. So what's cool about this afternoon is uh, Florida red snapper season is out, but our boat is a federally permitted boat and federal season lasts till when? Is it August 1st? Second. August 2nd. So because we're on a federally permitted boat, we can keep red snapper this afternoon. That is Jocko's right there. If you're looking for a good place to eat downtown with a view, Jocko's is it. Right now we've got 335 gallons, but we're having to put more. This thing burns more gas than any boat I've ever been on. A beautiful day in Pensacola, Florida though. Where are we headed, Captain? I need to get you one of them captain, <laughs> captain hats. Pick up more customers. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Stare us down? Yeah, I don't know. So we just got out here. We're 11 miles off Pensacola Beach. We're about to catch some fish. All right. Who wants the first first rod? Right here. Jim. Jim, take it. Yep. Okay. There you go. Don't, just kind of wait, and we're gonna get over the spot, and then okay. Lance will be like, drop it, drop it. Yeah. So I just hold it? Yep, that's it. And they're gonna jump out of the water right now. I'm just kidding. Okay, so what we're gonna do. <laughs> watch no, we gotta this. wait till they go. All the way. So we're gonna drop it to the bottom right here. See how you flip that down? Yeah. Brent, hook me up. Grab one. I got some bait. Our bait already cut up here. Nope, that was not ready. Let's see. Do we get to Where's eat one? while we catch? Sure. sure. If you want to. Yeah. All right, it hit. Now reel, reel three times, good, four times. Good, keep reeling, good. keep reeling right there, right there. There. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a good bite. All right, leave it. You got him. There he is. Pump up, reel down. Pump up, oh, wow. reel down. There you go. This, this is a big one. This is going to be a 10 to 12 pounder, probably. Holy <laughs> feel it. All right, so reel down, reel down. We got a big one, guys, right here. Reel, Real. start reeling, start reeling, start reeling. I have one more. There you go. <laughs> That's her first red snapper. She's having it. All right. So is that your first red snapper? Yeah. All right. Cool. That's a good one. That's a giant one. Don't drop another one, please. I'm trying not to. All right. Well, you've got you've got a you got a death grip on them. Whoa, whoa. All right. I need somebody to hook up real quick here on on, on camera. Let him take it. So we've been here. Uh, Five minutes, we've got three or four keeper snapper in the boat. We're gonna catch one more here and move to another spot. We got a monster coming up right here, guys. I think so. Yeah. I think we got a grouper. I think. Nope, big snapper, just Whoa. kidding. Big snapper, big snapper. Oh, look at there. Nice. Yeah, that's what we're talking Whoa, about. Dude. There we go. Woo. Now we got it. That's a nice one. Big fat Pensacola. Beach red snapper right oh, there. Yeah, baby. We just changed locations. Put out about 12, 13 miles. So we're just cutting up these Boston mackerel right here for bait. They're one of the best baits you can use for these big red snapper right off the beach. There he is. There he is. You got him. Come on. We are still catching them right here. Yeah. Chuck him up. Pump up, reel down. Pump up, right, reel right. down. There you right. go. Come on, Aaron. Let's go. Don't let us down, Aaron. Are you a lefty? I just know this is hard. <laughs> All this right, hard. we got our first fish and it's a baby. Is it? Oh my God, I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so sad. That's a little guy. He's so pretty. Isn't he beautiful? Look at that. That's awesome. I killed it? No. Oh, wait, I thought we were going to eat it. 
Nah, that one's too small. That's a worn out crew behind me. That was a quick one hour trip and we just slayed the snappers and now we're headed in. That was a, yeah, hold on. We got the clean fish. There they are right there. We got our basket full of red snappers. This right here will be the last red snapper that I cleaned in 2019. Season ends in a couple days, but that's a fine one right there. So that was definitely a different kind of video than I normally make. Some of those guys that we took fishing, they own the real estate company that I work with. They own the development company that I work with. And they also own that Boston Whaler that I'm in charge of. So sometimes we get a crew together and we take it out and go in the last couple days of snapper season is always a good idea because we don't have much longer to do it. We won't be able to do it till next year. The weather was absolutely perfect. Uh, conditions were right out there. Got on a good quick bite. I couldn't have asked for an easier afternoon trip than that right there. I mean, that was just absolutely perfect. The weather actually looks good all week. So I've got some other fishing trips planned. Brian and I are going to go out Wednesday, I think. We're going to take the Kobe out, see what we can get into out there. It's going to be one foot seas or less. I think it's just going to be me and him go. So that should be a uh, pretty eventful trip. My other businesses and jobs have been taking up a lot of my time. I haven't been able to post as much, but that's okay. Business is going well right now. It's the heat of the summer. We're not catching a lot inshore right now, so it's not easy for me to take out the boat on a quick trip in the mornings and actually be successful if you know what i mean so i want to be successful when i go make a video and so hey things are going to turn around it'll start to cool off here in another month i'll get back into the flow of things fishing kind of blows right now inshore offshore it's been pretty good inshore eh, not so much but as always guys i appreciate you watching the videos don't forget to smash that subscribe button hope all of you guys have a great week